okay guys what's up everybody okay <laughs> welcome back to the channel so um um in the last um session we spoke about um some interesting you know concepts and i we also looked at some new new tags like the table um what else we looked at the list and also we talked about the nested tags so today we're gonna be building uh, a simple web page and i'm going to be using that to explain to you what layout is all about in html and also one more thing i'm going to be um, making an introduction to semantic tags and what this means is that um, we are referring to tags that have specific purpose in a web page so that's what semantic semantic tags uh, is all about so um, let me show you what we'll be building today so this is a simple web page that we're gonna be working on today and <laughs> honestly i hope you guys enjoy this session so let's just dive in yeah so as we've always done um let's create a folder for this um, session so i'm going to name it intro to html4 okay so in here i'm going to create some files like the index.html html or html <laughs> sorry html or htm all right so it's either one of the extension if you want to complete it for your help and if you don't want to just have your htm okay so um the next one is our css file so i'm going to call this index.css okay and also i would have created a javascript file as well but since we won't be making use of that let's just have or well, utilize this too so for the html let's create our boilerplate as we've always been doing so here we have the boilerplate so next thing is to link our external css file which is the index the css all right then um let's name this title to, to simple um simple web page yeah <laughs> okay um so here we're gonna have those tags in our body all right all right so before we dive into building our simple web page let's talk about semantic tags and in semantic tags we have uh we actually have a lot of them we have the section we have the article we have the footer we have the nav we have the header we have the main and we also have the summary for and also the uh, other ones well i won't be mentioning here so you can you know make your own research learn about them and start using them uh while building your pages your web pages okay so um in here we have the header um i believe you know what the header is all about so this header is where you put in your title like an introduction to um what your content is all about or what your web page is all about so this is where you have uh, the title for those for those information you want to pass across to um to your to your readers all right and also we can also have um navigation bars at the top of this header uh, this uh we don't have I, I i could have showed you what this looks like but i don't have that for in our web page such as um yeah this is what i mean by the navigation bar at the top so you can see the navigation bar at the top and this is our header as you can see so this is the introduction of what uh the web page is all about you see t-shirt design and we have things like this so um let's talk about um other nav nav types we've, we've spoken about the horizontal right now let's talk about the vertical so we also have side nav bars like this one here and um i believe we've also we've seen this in 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 instagram in, on facebook and i think 
probably yes we also have this on twitter as well so whenever you see um a section like this by the side we refer to them as nav side nav bars so we talked about let's talk about the article as well so this is the article uh, tag you see the header this header here is a tag the nav is also a tag the footer they are all tags you no know, performing a uh, specific uh, function so look at this article now this article is the part where um, the content you want to talk about is located so this is where you you write those things uh, the information you're you're passing to your readers and also we have the aside aside um, the aside tag the aside tag is more or less like the nav but most of the time it's mostly um, the aside gives you more information or uh, list out additional information or let's say if you have external links to other websites you have them in your aside aside uh aside section of your web page so this nav bar or uh, takes you through um navigation links within your website okay and the this aside bar also does the same thing but with additional information that could relate to other uh, web pages outside of your website so the footer part is that um section of your web page where you have um additional information um for your readers or uh, for example you have your contact us information like let's say your phone number address you can have them um in your in the footer section okay and at the same time if you don't want to have the contact us information there you can just have a link here and uh, when your users or your readers click on the link it takes them to uh, the contact us page in your web in your website all right so also we also have the about us link where your users can easily click on and you know go to your about us um, page and read about the company or the website also um you have site map uh let's say the location of where the location of your business uh you can have a map at uh within the footer uh, section as well um you can also have a list of products products you you offer to to your readers or to your users uh they can they can see the list of products there um also um the footer part also shows you the copyright the copyright information about your business or your web page and also you can also have sponsors you know the logo of sponsors in in your web page people who more like investors you understand so all those things so these are these are the semantic tags as you can see they perform a specific function on your web page okay so let's move on to building our simple web page this time around this is the web page we're gonna be building okay so first of all let's just go into our vs code okay so as you can see here the first thing we need to get is to set up the the nav right before we move to the header before we move to this section here and before we go to other sections okay so this is what we're gonna do um first of all i'm going to go into my css file and i'm going to do this to remove uh, the default styling um added into our web page by the browser so i'm going to just say um margin margin is going to be zero all right padding is going to be zero okay um what else what else party margin let's say font family it's going to be serif yeah okay what else um height no 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 we don't need height all right so i've actually done that now let me change this to intro okay i think it's part four so i guess we are here so 
um now first of all okay so what we'll do first is our nav bar so let's have a nav here so can you see the nav tag the one we spoke about so this is a semantic tag it does a particular thing and it's we're going to be using this um uh, to to build the nav the nav section so in here we have and we have we are kind of like a logo but it's 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 written so it's going to probably make it easier for us to build so i'm going to have um let's say a span and i'm making use of a span because a span okay instead of a span let's just have a div here okay so inside of this div i'm going to have these guys okay um let's say i'm going to have another div okay and in this div i'm going to have this particular guy here i'm going to have two two what two m two m5 right okay so let's see how this looks Okay, we have two, two M5. I'm going to change this to sans serif instead of just serif. Okay, sans serif. Let's see. Okay, this is cool. So um, I'm probably going to need to give this an header. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to have to put this into an header. So I'm going to call this um, H. We like H5. Just drop this here. Okay. Just drop this here. This guy holds. This. So let's see H. Okay. Uh, let's make it H6. Seems too old. Okay. I think this is cool um yeah this is cool or we can just do this without the header because this web page doesn't have boldness here so this is fine so now let's move into this other part here where we have the about all service and other so the next thing is remember in our nav bar we have a section so we're gonna call this or give it an id for logo okay so just follow up with this just keep doing it with time the more you practice you'll get to understand so we're gonna have another div remember i could as well just change this nav to div because div is a general it is a general tag you know it is a general tag i can use this i can use the div tag for an article for now for footer anything but because we want to make our our code readable so that's the reason why we're making we're making use of the now so this now makes our code readable and meaning meaningful okay so um for this part now we have the about us we have the services we have the contact so this is more like a list right so i'm going to make this ul okay li li okay so the first one is about us services and contact so we have about us um this is contact and this is services okay okay so here we have social right so i can just give this name let me give it an id an id of what uh nav links nav links okay then in here i'm going to have 
something like uh for the social now so we're going to say social social links okay so i have this and i'm just going to have they're probably going to be logos so i'm going to get um the i tags so we'll be making use of icons for this so let's just have this for now um and lastly we have the get started button so we can have the button here okay i'll we'll just say get let me see get started right and in here we have something like this so i'm probably gonna need a span in here for inline thing and um let's see if this works okay we have it so um we have all of this right okay so the next thing is to let me reduce my screen to 100 okay i think one one thing is fine so the next thing to do is to start this and make it uh horizontal now i need you guys to watch and see what i'm gonna be doing so my nav now when i go into my nav i'm going to have nav so i'm getting the the tag name i'm using display it's going to be flex right so i believe automatically we have horizontal okay as you can see it's now horizontal and see what else you can have this is this guy um uh justify contents um space around okay you see as you can see we have this 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 okay uh now this this and this right so there's one more thing i would like to do instead of just putting this guy in i would like to put this in a single everything here in another d okay so i'm going to call this as you can see this is separated from this okay so um i will give this a, a, an id of let's say um now uh now links have links and button okay so we have the name here so um for the now let's give it a a border so we know where it starts from and where it, it ends border on pixel solid Block. okay so as you can see this is where it ends right <laughs> so um let's change this to space between so we have this guy here and we also have this guy here so let's move on to styling this person this list and the button now so we need to get the this nav link button because everything is inside this div here so i'm going to just get this id okay we have our ash right this this guy here and let's see let's give it a border on pixel solid black or oh, let's make it another color orange so as you can see the color is kind of yeah this is the border and as you can see it looks very small so let's increase the width okay let's make it 50 percent 50 percent of the now width so 50 percent that means it starts from here right so let's look at this 50 percent okay um let's probably make this um 
sixty percent. Make this sixty percent. Okay, so we have enough space, right? Um, the next thing is um. Let's look at this again. We're going to need to have a padding. Okay. Let's have a padding in now. So here yeah, I'm going to have a padding left. It's probably going to be like 20 pixels. Let's see. Okay, as you can see, I'm moving the two M5 inside a bit. So let's probably just make it 30. Is 30 okay? Or we should make it 40 or probably 50. Okay, 50 is fine. And also we're going to be changing the font size of this as well to make it bigger. So the next thing is let's style the, um, what's it called? Let's style these nav links and button, okay? Let's get this guy and we're gonna have display. So this display is a property that helps us to, to do some interesting things. So here I'm using flex. So when we get to responsive um, websites, I'll be talking more about this flex in CSS. So let's just, just follow up with this. We don't want to waste any more time. So here we have this, right? So let's make um let's make use of this. Let's just say justify the contents. Um this space around for space evenly. Let's see space around. So we have this, okay. So let's also give this guy here a border. Okay, so let's go into our nav links ID. Okay, so I'm going to give this guy a photo. One pixel solid, solid blue. Let's see another color. This. Okay, as you can see, we have a blue, right? Now well, let's increase the width. The width should be like probably like eighty percent of eighty percent of this nav link button. Okay, remember this is sixty percent, right? So because I'm having nav link inside of this inside of this um nav link button, so I can make it. It's going to be hundred percent. So I'm making it eighty percent right now. So if you look at this, I have this, as you can see, <laughs> is this cool? Okay, um, now let's remove the, let's remove the list style. List style type will be none. So just to remove this dot, dot, dot thing we have here. Okay. No, you shouldn't have that though. Okay. None. Oh, sorry. This is not where we're gonna have this. I was wondering too. So in here we're gonna have the I'm just going to repeat this guy here because the UL the UL is inside of this these nav links if you if you check so we have our nav links right and you can see the ul inside of it so i'm just going to call this ul so i'm giving the because the ul itself is a list so i'm going to give this the list style type which is going to be none so this is automatically is going to remove the dot dots as you can see here right so i'm going to also bring in or make use of the display flex and this will make this horizontal can you see guys so i'm going to um do one more thing um justify content so let's have space around 
so everything you know stays as it should okay so um is it looking is it looking it okay we have this and also we need the icons so we need to go get some icons right now let's let me check something to confirm so in here we have the icons right social links okay so um i'm going to have to make this probably like a 70 or 60 percent because of the social links so we're gonna have the social links here and we're gonna have the button here so first of all i think we should start the button and see what and so what color is this oh it's gonna be this color and blah blah blah, blah. okay so now let's get the button now so we have the button so remember we have the button inside of these nav links i'm going to be showing you how to do selectors in css but just follow up with this first so we have this nav links right and so i'm going to have these nav links so let me have it under here no let's just have it here and okay so at the end we're gonna have a button so let's give this button a weight what weight can we give it um since this has 60 already so i think we should give it like 20 20 percent is it working okay this makes sense right and also let's give it a height let's give it the height the height of the height of let's say like 20 pixels let's see if okay um for the nav i'm going to give this a height a height of let's say 30 pixels so increase it a bit okay as you can see and we can also give it padding so that the so that this the contents won't be touching the edges all right so let, let's provide a padding here and i'm going to name this 10 pixels as you can see everything is is coming in okay we are not touching the walls so um now let's do for this guy um, i think i would need to increase the size of this nav links and button okay oh uh, let's give it the height a height of probably like 20 pixels let's see to increase it oh this makes it smaller so instead of 20 pixels let's just make it like 40 pixels okay all right so um what else what else what else what else can we have in here okay align items so let's have align items align items to be center align items to be center so we have it centralized here okay okay so let's copy this and paste it here as well in mouse so we have everything as you can see they are centered in the middle so i'm going to be showing you all of this in css when we get there just follow up with this okay so um what else do we need to align so let's look at uh, the button now. Let's start this button. Um, so first of all, to start this button, just in case we have other buttons, all right? Because we probably might have other buttons, okay? So we have the parent, right? This is the parent of this particular button. So we need to get the parent first to give it specificity. That's what we call it in CSS. So in CSS, when we start CSS, you will see um, all these things. I'll be explaining them um, so you can you know get to understand them and start making use of them. 
so first of all we need the id right so we have the id then we get the button tag so we have the button tag and in here what do we need for the button we need um to give it a width okay let's give it a width a width of let's say um like 30 pixels let's see what 30 pixels oh 30 pixels is in cool let's give it like 70 pixels let's see 70 is in cool either maybe 100 100 pixels hmm, 100 pixels is in fine either let's do 150 all right i guess 150 is cool so we also need to give it a height all right let's give it like um 30 pixels let's see what 30 pixel looks like is 30 pixel okay let's make it like 40 um 40 yeah 40 looks cool so after this we need to give it a border right a border radius not just a border so we need to make this of uh, seat 50 we can make it 50 let's just make it like 30 pixels so as you can see the border is cool so um also i think i should reduce that border line so border will give me 0.5 pixels sol solid black okay let's reduce that all right that's cool so inside of this button now look at inside of this button we have this greater sign and we also have the get started text right so all i need to do is um all right um in here i need you to change this i know most of you would have just the text but just put this text inside of a span okay just put it inside of a span and just have it like this the same way i have it here so now let's go into um styling the border right or uh, the buttons the content of the button so here we need to copy all of this do i need to copy all of this um uh, yeah yeah of course i do no not yet so let me just have display flex um and in here i'm going to have justify content and i'm going to have space around let's see what happens so i've spaced them around so also let's give it um an align so align text or align item sorry so we have center so it brings it down centered right so what next do we need to do let's go into that greater sign right um yeah that greater sign before i give it let's just do this one size one size should be like 30 pixels you see hmm, 30 pixels is too much let's make it like 15 15 pixels should be cool yeah 15 pixels is fine so let's go into that now for the greater sign um yeah greater sign i think the greater sign has an id as well and yeah it, it has an id so you can as well put in this id because i skipped the video the other time um all right so um just put in this id and name it whatever you want to name it but i'm naming mine great right so i'm going to have um I'm going to have this because it is an id i'm using the ash so i'm going to need to give it a width let's say this width should be 30 pixels and into because we want to make it round we're gonna make it we're gonna give the same unit to each width and height okay so i'm going to give it a border as well so we see what's happening um I'm gonna be like one pixel solid mm, orange orange is cool all right so we have that so let's give it the border radius now so we're gonna make it 50 percent to make it round as you can see it's it's now round right so um what else do i need i i think i actually don't need this anymore uh but i need to give it a background color which is going to be instead of background color i'm just going to name it background and uh, giving it black so I have black there and I need to give it a color. I'm going to be giving it white for now, but I'm gonna change it back to the initial color, which is this lemon, I don't know. So let's just look at this um, white, right? 
color white so what do we have we have white so now let's justify the content but before we do that we need to do this display first display flex then justify content will be center and align items will be centered so so let's see so we have it centered so uh what is the next thing to do right now i believe the next thing to do um the, the padding for this isn't enough so let me let me increase the padding so we need to go back to now link part thing and i provide a padding here so this padding is going to be Let's, let's try like 50 pixels. See 50 pixels. Is 50 pixels working? Is 50 pixels working? Um, no. So probably I just need to remove that. Um, okay. Probably I might need to bring in the logo. So let me bring this guy in. Since my logo ID. Or tag is inside there, so I need to bring in the logo as well. So in here I'm going to say pattern. Well, instead of pattern, I'm going to say margin left. It's going to be in pixels. So I'm expecting this to come in a bit. Okay. So let's see where is our logo. Oh, our logo isn't in here. Our logo is outside of it, so I can just reference logo. Or just make use of now instead of this guy. I'm going to make use of now. Okay. And bring this at the top to be close up to its parent. Alright. So as you can see, it's coming in. Should we make it bring it in a bit? Let's give it 15 pixels. Alright, I think 15 pixels is fine. Well, let's just make it 20. <laughs> let's make it 20. Okay. All right. So I probably might need to increase the font size of that. And also my need to, okay. I think the font size is just font size will be like 25 pixels. Let's see. Hmm. Is this cool? Let's see. Okay. Um, 25 isn't 25 too much. Let's make it 20. Yeah, I think 20 is fine. So right now, let's move. Uh, let's look for the color for these guys here, and I'm just going to go into the bottom part now and get the background. I don't think I need this. Okay. I still need that so background just background is fine so i'm going to look for this line line theme so this is the color to um to the button background we're looking for so i just had to just you know look for a way to get it so as you can see we have it here right if you compare this with this it kind of looks similar so um you see yeah kind of looks similar well let me see if i can make it a bit lighter all i need to do is make it a bit lighter so we have let's, let's make it a bit lighter okay Okay, I think that's cool. Well, uh, let's see. I can do it here. Yeah, I think this is it. So, um, for these borders that we have here, I think we might need to bring them out. Let's also see contactors, services, contacts. Are we cool? Yeah, I think we're cool. All right. Um, yeah, so let's just remove these borders. 
let's see all right let's remove the borders so anyway we have border let's try taking them out so here i think i have a border okay this is for the button the button needs the border okay um border for nav links i think we don't need this guy here uh what else border orange we don't need this what else what we have border again yeah for this we don't need this either so let's take them out and as you can see we have this right this is cool this is cool yeah this is cool so now let's get the the icon so i make use of font awesome.com icon but and in this uh particular web uh in this particular um web browser which is chrome i've already logged in so i'm going to i'm going to log into another one so that we can set up your your own um your own fonts uh fonts awesome account so all you need to do is just follow up on what I'm going to be doing right now. Font awesome. Yeah, font awesome. Font awesome. So just click on this. Um, you are going to need to create an account. So just follow up. All right. So just I think you can just click on get started and put in your email okay put in your email here and send kids code then go to your browser sorry go to your gmail account or whatever email um email address you're using or email server you're using <laughs> i'm using gmail anyways so um Hold on. Okay. All right. Now, when I go to my inbox, I should get my code and I would. Okay. So I'm going to activate my account by just clicking on this confirm your email address and then I'm going to. Be redirected here so i can create an account or oh, sorry create the password and you should also do the same a secure password please <laughs> so uh i've created mine i don't save this i don't like doing that so yeah i'm just going to give this dj my last name and when did i start using this 2020 uh get Got a favorite icon actually i do uh, i think it's just the user icon so here we have this so you're gonna be redirected here all right i can actually close this guy now and go back to my, okay so you you are going to be redirected here and all you need to do is go into before you go into anywhere come here you can either use this by just copying this all right or you can use this CSS embed. I, I think I prefer this CSS embed. So I click on this and I have copied this. So I need to go into my HTML file and paste it before my own CSS file. If you notice, my own CSS file is on line eight. So I'm going to paste this in line seven. All right. So line my own CSS file can easily overwrite whatever font style or whatever style they have in this in this particular link we have at the top for font awesome okay so that's the reason why i need to have my own css file after um any external link i'm bringing in so okay now i need to go into this all right i've gotten this so all i need to just do right now is just go into icons and what icon are we looking for we need facebook twitter and instagram so let's just get um okay what's wrong with you just stay here please all right so i need to get facebook right 
Okay. So what Facebook are we using? Um, yeah, I think we're using this one. So all I need to just do is copy this guy and come here, take out all these ones and replace them with this. So if we go to our web page down in here, you'll see, I think we should see it. Well, why don't you have it here? Okay, so let's just do the same for the rest first, then we'll look for a way around that. Um, that's, that's for Facebook. Let's do for Twitter. Twitter. All right, this is Twitter. So we get Twitter also, and we go and paste there. All right. Um, it should work, I guess. Oh, I'm not sure why it isn't working though, but I think I might need to, instead of, you just continue with this. You don't have to do anything different. I just need to, I think I need to get them from this particular guy here. So I'm having Facebook, right? Let me remove this guy since they are, different accounts use the same account you have there you don't have to change anything so I'm going to have to take this guy and embed him here All right so let's see if we have results okay we still don't have it so that probably isn't the issue okay let's just get the remaining Twitter okay Let's get Twitter, drop Twitter there as well. Let me see, Twitter, run Twitter, Instagram, I guess. Uh, to be sure, mm, let's just make, let's get it from here. So, Instagram. So, I think this is Instagram, right? So let me see how does Instagram, okay. Let's use install. Okay, I think we should use this guy here. So when I use this guy, drop this guy here. Okay, that's those are the three we need. So as you can see, we have the icons, right? Like I said earlier, um, I actually prefer making use of the the CSS embed code, but when I did use it, it didn't work. So I don't know why. I I I used it earlier and it worked in a different project, but I don't know why it doesn't work here. So now I I said I should try out the JavaScript embed code and this actually works. So whichever one works for you, just you know, just click on it, copy it and paste. If this doesn't work change it back to this, then copy the code and go paste in your header, meaning in this place. So as you can see, I'm using the script, right? This is the JavaScript and I've commented out the, the CSS embed code. Okay, so now we have our, we have the icons, right? So we need to space out these icons so they also that they can be have evenly um, aligned. So um, what I need to do right now is since I have my social links, I can, okay, I'm going to need to close this. Okay, social links. Okay, so I created a social link um, in my CSS file while I was testing. So just follow up with this. I actually don't need this though. So remember, um, I can easily start this way. And also I can just look for the parents of this CSS of this social link, which is this guy here, this div, all this div you see here, this div and the button, they are inside of this div and the class of this, oh, sorry, the ID of this div is nav links button. So I'm, I'm making reference. I'm using this ID um, value in my CSS to make reference to that particular parent. That's the reason why I'm using this. So I can easily have this, just follow up, okay? 
so i have this guy now i'm going to get this i'm going to place this here and space out so i have the parent right then i have the child okay so this is what we do in css so when we get to css i've said this many times i'm going to you know show you how to run it so now we have the social links right so we need to do uh probably like let's get the border first so we know the width what is one pixels solid um probably let's just give it black so let's see okay so what's what's up what's up what's up so social link is it social links or social link i don't know you see social links oh sorry it is a class i'm going to just give it an id instead of a class okay so since it is an id we should have it here all right so let's increase the the width and probably the height okay yeah let's just do both so for the width i'm going to give it like um i don't know like 40 pixels let's see okay 40 pixels is too small let's make it like a hundred all right a hundred isn't that bad though but i think we can do better so let's just do like 200 all right okay 200 is cool well let's bring it down to 180 all right so we have 180 right so in here i can now do display display yeah flex okay display flex and justify content will be centered no 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 space around yeah i cast the space around all right so we have this right um let's see okay i think we might need to reduce the width to 150 okay 150 is cool and also we i think we might need to reduce the width of this other one as well it seems too large i like him <laughs> so uh where is it exactly now settings 16. we should make it no, no, no. I think instead of this is button, right? Okay, let's just go look for it. Nav links, right? Now links, yeah, nav links. So let's look for nav links instead of making it 50, 60. Let's make it 60. Let's make it 60. All right, okay, 60, right? I think 60 is cool. Then, um, and let's just remove the border to to these social links right all right so as you can see we have our protein we have the we have the nav links we have these guys and we have all of these guys so um about us since it's just gonna be styling um or should we just give them their links okay so whenever we over our name they give us that um is it pointer or that and a uh, pointer yeah so let's just let's let's give them the links so for this guy for this particular or let's just do for everything all right so we're gonna have the anchor tag remember what the anchor tag is uh you can't have forgotten that okay <laughs> so let's just put this guy here and because we are not routing to any page yet because we don't have the about page yet the services page and the contact let's just give this ash to point to nowhere so as you can see we have this we have this we have this but we actually don't need this color and all that so let's just go to css and you know we have nav links right so we can easily just say um Let's see. Okay, let's not let's not do that mistake. Let's just 
create something else so we have this guy right so we can just print it here then add in the li and i think after the li we can add in the a right so we can say um text decoration none okay so when you look at the text decoration none okay so what's up okay because our li is actually inside of the anchor tag as you can see here the li is inside the anchor tag so we should have um the anchor first before the li actually we don't need the li it's just the anchor we need so let's look at this so the text decorator or decoration has left so we can actually give it a color now and let's just give it um black I think black is preferable okay so we have black right so this is getting interesting i'm still thinking should we like bring them in probably like it fits so let's just give it a padding it's up there um we have padding padding left what about padding right Padding right should be so as well. Right. So this should come in. Okay, let's increase both. So right in one job. See. Is there anything changing? Okay, um should we make it two hundred and let's make five hundred to see. All right, it seems they are not working. All right, but it's it's cool. It's cool. We can do it all in party actually, since we already have merging already. We have merging here. We have merging here. So um, I think since we have the links for these things, let's do the same for the icons as well. So they also have that you know that and thing. Um. Let's look at those icons. So we have social. We need to just give them the A tag as well. And provide these guys. Surround them with these guys. And then I think that's all. I think that's all. Okay, so we need to change the color back to black. So social links. Where are you? Social, social, social. Let's see. Maybe if I give it color, color of black. Okay, it won't work actually. So, what I need to do is copy this guy here. Okay, okay take this out. Um, Put this guy here then put the anchor the anchor tag remember then i cannot have my color here and you know, give it the black we need so we have this so whenever you see me hovering on this we have this so if i click on this you see the ash can you see the ash the ash so so assuming we have a link like a web page like okay like a web page you know when i click on this it takes me there for example let's i don't know my instagram page instagram you see okay so i'm just going to put this in here for for the pages right so i think which of them is instagram this is instagram so i'm going to put this here let's do the same for the rest um yeah let's do the same for the rest this is interesting uh i think twitter right all right so twitter login i also have this so copy this guy and let's put him in here okay let's do the same thing facebook for meta meta yeah let's do the same for meta 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 okay okay so meta all right 
So meta login. Yeah, meta login too. So meta login is Facebook, right? So we can just copy this guy and and put it in here. So anytime we try navigating, so when I click on this, let's close this guy. So when I click on this. So what's up? Okay, actually I thought it will work. <laughs> so this is it. Uh, let's go back. I would like to put in the blank. Remember that attribute target and the underscore blank. So when okay refreshed. So when I click on it, either this it opens a new tab. If I come back here and click on this as well, it opens another tab. If I go back, okay. Um, I don't have plan for the rest. Let me put plan for the rest. So for this guy and for this guy. So let's just put them here so that anytime we navigate, it takes us to a new page on a new tab. And I do the same for no now. Refresh a page. Let's see, do we have any mistake? No, we don't. So what I need to do is, yeah, another page as you can see, and here we have another page as you can see. So this is interesting. So now um, I'm still thinking. I I'm th I'm thinking of reducing this though. So let's so let's reduce the the size of that thing there. Um, for the nav links. So I think we should have it to be 40. Okay. Um I think 50 is actually okay though. I'm gonna put a border around it and see what exactly the problem is. Black, right? Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I should, I should give it um, position should be relative, and I should make it go left a bit. All right, and just give it like twenty pixels. I see left a bit. A bit. If I add like five, okay, all right. So let's let's just increase it to see the effect of you know, you see. So it, it's it's working, but because it's going um slowly, so you won't see what's really happening. So if I make it 30, so we have 30. So let me should I make it 35? I don't know why though, but just feel like 35 is cool. Okay, 35 is cool. So let's take out the, the border and all right. So I think this is better. All right, now let's focus on the header this time around. So this is the header tag right here. So let's do the header now. So let's go in there and start styling the headers. I think I should just Take these plants out because of the error I'm getting there. Um, I don't know why, but yeah. um, probably let's just you know change these guys. Okay, okay, we're well, cool, we're well, cool. So now let's just do the header, right? Okay, so to do the header, we need to go out of the nav tag right because the nav itself is a semantic tag edda is not is a separate semantic tag so we need to do the edda this time around so we have the header all right so this is the edda right so in the edda um we're gonna have some things like this guy here so we can use a p tag for this we can use um 
you can use a p tab for this as well we're just going to increase the font size or button and view how it works this is going to be a link and we have a lorem there so let's do the p tag first so in here we're going to have a p tag p tag come up come up all right okay let's just take that out and start here. all right p why is my p not working okay i think i might just need to take this guy out uh, i don't know why it got because of that error uh, i'm gonna fix it later though but you know you can leave yours this way no problem no problem okay so let me just have my p all right so for the p now what do i have i have create your create Great, great your and we're gonna have another p tag so t-shirt right t-shirt design so we have t shirt design is that what we have t-shirt design and under it we need a button right a button okay what does the button say get started okay get started our friend get started then we need to have a link at the bottom the link at the bottom which is this anchor tab giving it this hash for you know navigating nowhere and here we have view how it works so we say view how it works all right view how it works okay then we have another p tag which is going to have a lorem a lorem lorem of let's say 50 ah 50 is too much we make it like 20 20 is too much um okay sorry let's have our p tag first and in our p tag then we're gonna bring in the lorem let's make it 15 then all right, I think 15 is cool. Okay, so um, as you can see, we have that, right? So let's go into styling. So we have our head. Since our head is unique. So let's have a style for the head tag, right? The header, right? The header. So in the header, let's give it a width of, I think, 50% should be okay. Let's give it a border of a uh, one pixel solid so we see what it looks like. Black, okay. Can we see? Can we see? All right, this is it, right? Okay. So now um I'm going to give it the margin auto to cent to centralize it. Okay, can you see guys? This is cool. Fun. Right, so I think we have something. So I think we should bring it down a bit. Yeah, let's bring it down a bit. So we're gonna have margin top. Margin top is going to be like 20 pixels. So it comes down a bit. Is this cool? Is this okay? Actually, I think it's okay, but we might need to like give it like 10. I think this is perfect. So since we have this, um. We should probably give it a height to if I can see does this okay I think it height will be cool a height of let's say 200 pixels let's see what happens we have a height of 200 pixels is this height okay um, not totally sure though but i think we might need to the width for the now the width for the now width for the now should be about 80 percent okay so if the width for the now is 80 percent then we can also give the now 
a margin of auto as well. Margin of auto to centralize it. Okay. So is this is this making sense? We make it 80 or we should make it 90. Okay, probably we should just make the header. Let's make the header sixty percent. Sixty percent. All right, sixty is good. So, uh, we need to give it a border radius. Okay, so the border radius is going to be around thirty pixels. Let's see what's up. Okay, so um, we need to have a padding there as well. So the padding should be around 10, uh, probably like 50 pixels. So, okay, so I think we should increase the height to probably like a 250. It's pretty cool, or we should make it like 300. Okay, I think 300 is fine. So um, let's give it that color, the background color. Yeah, let's make, let's give it the background. So I can actually take this guy out. We don't need that anymore. So we can have the background. Or just the background is fine. Then we have color, which is this guy here. So we need to do is just copy this. So for example, if you are unable to get this at first, all you need to do is just write out GBA okay then for the red give it 150 go to the next one i think okay when you click on tab i'll uh, click on just put this okay first of all you know you have to remove the what's it called the color and put the number all right that's two three five click on your tab again remove what is there put 15. click on your tab again remove what is there and give it 0 0.966 so you have the same color as what you have here is this cool yeah it's cool okay now the next thing is uh we need to centralize all of this guy so you know what we need then <laughs> we should have just um we need a display which is flex flex please all right then we have justify content which is center yeah it's going to look like this because flex is automatically an horizontal um style so we need to change it to flex direction flex direction will now be a colon so we want it to be a colon all right so it's a colon now then what we need is since we have justify is is centered right do we need a line a line item should be centered as well all right okay we need a line actually so since we have this um so um we have these guys right so i'm just going to go in here and get something so for this p tag for this particular p tag because it's smaller than the other i should give it a class I should give this particular one, this one and this one the same class. Now remember, when you are using ID, you use ID for a particular tag. You don't reuse it. But when when you are using classes, you can you know give the same value. You can make a uh, different tags share the same class. All right. So we have this. I'm just going to call this um, Ada content. Sorry, Ada content. Content. So I'm going to copy this header content now and go to come here and in here we have the header. Then remember because this is a class, I can give it a dot. So what do I want to have here? Um, I think we should just have margins. Like that. Imagine like it's a pixels, so it separates itself from the rest. Okay, so we have 30 instead of 20 is 35. I think we should make it 50 because we're gonna be making these other ones. 
so let's increase this text this t-shirt design so remember because this is a a tag so let's just say shirt shirts okay, let me see how i did this okay shirt design is fine design so i need to copy this guy here and make use of it in my you know so all i need to have is the header which is the parent then i can now have the dot and this then this so the font size for this guy is going to font size will be like should we make it like Font shirt design, right? So we have it. Uh, oh, sorry, it is an ID. I totally forgot. <laughs> so let's do the ash thing, okay? All right, so do we have it? We have something similar t shirt design, okay? I think it's kind of similar though. So I probably might need to do something like reduce the margin of these guys here and probably give a margin to this as well. Margin of let's say like 20 pixels and also reduce these guys to 20 pixels. So if I see what we have 20 pixels of EB, I don't need to. All right, uh, this is what's gonna happen. I'm going to reduce this turn. Okay, let's see the distance between them. Turn five. Or maybe we shouldn't just have anything. All right, I think this is cool, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So let's quickly do for the button. So remember, we have the header and we have a button, right? All right, a button tag. So, um, okay, let's just give it a width. A width of, let's say, like, like the 100 pixels. Let's see how it's going to go. Let's increase it to like 200 pixels. Does it make sense? All right, it does make sense. So um, let's give it the height, the height of like, I think, all right, but the pixels is cool. So um, also let's increase the font size to something like 30 pixels. Let's see, uh, 30 pixels is too much, and then 20 pixels. Okay, can fix it, it's fine. So let's give it a border radius. So border radius is gonna be like 30 pixels. Alright, so let's see. It's gonna be dark, right? Okay. okay I think we should instead of 30 pixels, 40 pixels. So it's bounds up well. Okay, so we have 50, then we need to give it a background color of black. Uh, background should be black. Then the color of the text itself should be. Let's see, what color is it? White. Okay. White. All right. Then it seems we have a border there as well. So border is gonna be like 1.5 pixels solid. Solid white. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see it has white borders. This also has white borders. So um I think I should increase the size of the height to something like 50. 
all right it makes sense this way so let's just give it a let's give and let's give this view how it works a margin so we don't have to give everything margin because if when we give everything margin it looks you know too spaced out so let's have this view how it works so let's get the view how it works and the view how, how it works is header and it is a it is an anchor tag so you can just say um header then the anchor tag um first of all i think we should give the color black is it black okay it's black so we can give it black as well then since it maintains the text decoration we don't need to take it out so all we just need to do is have a margin the same margin as um as the, the short design so that would that would be like 20 pixels okay so i can take this guy out so let's see yep so we have something cool yep so um i think that's cool okay we probably might need to like reduce the the lorem let's reduce the lorem to something like i don't know something like, like this let's see the results okay all right yeah i think this is cool this is nice this is great you you know <laughs> So um I think I should reduce the margin to like 10 pixels. 15 pixels is not bad. So let's reduce the margin to 15 pixels so it doesn't look too spaced out. Okay. Alright, I think this is cool. So now uh what's the next thing to work on now since we have our header? Okay. We should look at this section, our features, right? So we're gonna have a section for this. So there is one more thing I haven't introduced to you guys. Um, it's called a break line. Is it a break line? I think it's called a break line. So, which are yeah, something like this. So, can you see <laughs> so for this guy now let's let's start this guy here so we're gonna have the hr we're going to give it a width of let's say like 80 percent what happens okay 80 percent works now let's give it a margin auto so we centralize it right okay and let's also bring it down a bit so margin is up so we have like 20 pixels it's 20 okay let's make it like 40 pixels okay it's 40 cool seems like we have you no know, something close to so, the so i could have you know increased the size of this uh the size of the header to match this but maybe i should just reduce the instead of giving it 80 let's do like 70 let's see what 70 okay i think 70 is good so we have 70 so the next thing is to get our features right yeah this these are features so these are features now is going to be um so let me introduce another tag. Okay, let's skip this, this to make it readable. So we're gonna have a section, a section, okay. So this is another tag you haven't seen. This is also a semantic tag as well. So it is called section. So in this section, we're gonna have this, um, these features, okay. Our features, so we're gonna have features here. So I'm going to give it a an ID. I will call it feature or choice. Okay. So um, in here we're gonna have probably going to have 
you 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 this okay so since let's have a ul and let's have these guys so in this guys we are going to have icons so each of them we have okay let me bring this bar so i'm going to duplicate these four times because we have actually have four of them so give me some space so we don't mistake it for something else so we're gonna have another one here and another one here since we have like four features there so we're going to get this unique design so let's go back to our uh font awesome then you can scroll back up and go to icons and in here search for design i think design okay let's see what happens when you search for design is it design oh it's actually not design no uh, what is it called again um okay i think in my previous projects where i was testing some things i have it so let's look for let's look for it there uh, in here okay so i'm looking for this guy here this particular one so let's go get it this uh facebook no um okay i think it should be this guy here so palette solid palette something like that so i actually got this from from what's it called font awesome so we can just reuse it we use it and the rest of them so let's go back here and put it in here So let's see what we have. All right, you can see it, right? So we have this guy here. So let's get the rest. Um, what's, what's the rest? We have this layers. I think we also have layers in. We have layers. Yeah, we do, we have layers. So let's get layers as well. I think layers is second to the last one. So we grab this guy. Okay, I'll come here and place it there. So we should have layers as well. Let's just get the remaining ones that we check later. So we have the the shirts. Okay, we have the shirt as well. Let's get the shirt. I think the shirt is do we have shirt here. Alright, we don't have shirt, so we need to go to Want also my get a shirt. All right, shirt, right? Okay. I don't know which would work, but I doubt this would work. I don't know why I doubt this, but I think it won't work. So let's just see if it does work. No, let's go back here. Yeah. So you see, it doesn't work, right? Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So we need to get the other one instead of this. We need to use this. So we are permitted to use this because this is free, and the other one isn't free. So um, and the last one now. The last one is this guy here, the smiley guy. So. I think we also have that in here. See user there smile. Okay, yes. So if you want to get your own icons, all you just need to do is come here, search. You know, first of all, you need to come to just click on icons or wherever you are. And you 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 get to this page then just click on layers 
So this is the one I'm using. So no, I think is it this or this? I think either of it so works. Uh, let me check. Okay, okay, no. So I'm using this. So just click on this and uh, you know get your layer copy. Just click on this copy and go paste in there. Um for the next one to get your smiley. So just uh okay. I think I'm using this. Let's see. Yes, I'm using this. So just get this guy, click and go paste there. Also, we've seen how to get the shirt, right? So and if you're getting the shirt, just make sure you get the first one here because the other ones won't work. These ones are free. Right, um for the last design, which is more like the first one, just type in or search for design. So when you have this, you need to use the paginate or paginator here. So go to the next and here you have the icon. So click this one. This is the one you'll be using. So get this guy and copy and paste in your HTML. I've done mine, so you should do yours as well. So now, um, since we have the icon, before the icon, I think we need a P tag um okay we need a p tag in here okay which says our features our features right i'll just start over again so we have this p tag and we say our features okay so in here let's just click on um since this is the only i don't know if this is going to be the only p though so let's just say um um let's say this id is going to be for feature let's just call it fit all right so let's check our simple web okay so we have our features here if we check the ui we also have our features so let's do this thing now um our feature right so let's go and style this up so first of all we need to get the section tag then we need to get the child which is our feature right and it is an id so we use the ash, so we say feature. Oh, it's actually fit, right? So in here we need to have a margin. Margin auto. No, no, no margin auto. We're probably margin margin like 20 pixels. Let's see the results. It's 20 pixels, okay. Um, let's make it like 30. Just make like 60. Is this thing even working? Let's just call this color first and let's see if this works. Uh, blue. Okay, it seems we don't have it yet. So let's check again. This is this guy. Come in here. And we have feet, right? We have features. Do we have fit so okay instead of using section let's use these id features all right let's use id features so we have features so i'm using the id instead of the tag name this time around so we have features and we have fit okay let's see does it work fresh your page okay it's working actually so even if i remove this feature and use section as well it's still gonna work yeah it's still working so i think the 60 is too much let's make it 20 again all right 20 is fine let's take the blue out um then let's bring this here so we can actually have something like position 
relative and left should be like 20 pixels let's see if it gets there to slow look like 80 pixels okay still slow let's make it like 120 pixels still very slow 50 okay let's just make this 200 all right so we have our pictures here so let's do for all of these guys now so the ul so since we have i actually don't need this id since we are using our section tag but in case we have other sections so we can make use of this so let me change this from section to id because i want features rather so i have features so we still have the same thing everything is working fine so now let's start the ul okay so we have features and we have the ul so in here i'm going to remove the list style we don't need that none okay and i think the next thing now is to have a display Play is gonna be flex. Remember the default is always horizontal. So I'm going to I think we need a width, but before we have a width, um let's have a yeah, we actually need a width though. Let's put the width at the top. The width should be let's say 80%. Let's see. Okay. Let's give it a border so we know what's happening. One pixel solely black. So I look at this. All right, so I think we can give this a margin auto more like yeah, margin auto, margin auto. So we have margin auto, so it eighty won't work. So let's I think we should make this sixty or seventy. Yeah, seventy would work. So um since we have this for the display now, we can now have our justify content, which is going to be space between. All right, so let's look at this. So we have space between. All right, so I think the next thing now is to increase the font size of these guys here. Let's see what happens. Correct. So we have the font size, uh, but remember the color needs to change, so we need to change this color. I think this is even too big, so let's reduce this to something like thirty okay so i think we the color now should be let's get the color what color have we been using yeah let's get this guy it is rgb okay so let's put the color here paste it here then we have the color are we good guys okay we're good actually we're good we're good we're good so let's take out the the border since we don't need it anymore let's take it out um let's take it out right so it's out so what's the next thing the next thing should be the contents like the details believe so in here we have unique design and uh, july 13th i'm just going to give them dates but the first one is unique design so let's go into um first one so in here i'm going to have a span i think it's better to have a span here so we have unique unique 
design or instead of let's let me have a B branch. Do I need a B? Do I need a B? Yeah, let me have a B. And in this D one going to put in this guys. So um probably like let's say D again. And instead of a D, here's our P tab. And this also just to get this. So unique design. Okay, and this should be date, right? So what date is it? July, whatever dates we can put in. Okay, let's use June 30. Um two thousand and twenty-three. So let's see what happens. So we have this unique design, blah blah blah. So um so we are going to have to style each ally. No, not each ally. We need to style each div inside an ally. So what we need to do is get this guy. Now remember ally is a parent of UL. So then we get the div, then we can set the font size. So something like like a 15 pixels. So when we look at this, we have our result. So what exactly okay? The first one is black. So um that means for the first one, I'm gonna use a class because I'm going to copy and paste this. So for this, I'm going to use um. Let's just say uniform. Okay, so instead of uniform, make use of uni, just u n hi uni, or you can call it whatever name you prefer. But I'm using uni. So um, since I want to give the same style to all of them, so I'm going to repeat here as well. I'm just going to copy all of this and paste in the remaining four lists I, I have. Okay, paste here. Then, um, what's the first design? I need to get that again. Okay, um, okay, we have you here. Okay, so I'm gonna expand this. So the second one is quality materials. All right, so let's change this name to quality materials for the second one. Quality materials for the third one. We have I, I what? I print quality. Okay, we have I print quality for the third one. I print quality. Okay, and for the final one, where are you? Let's load this again. okay for the final one we have good reviews okay so let's get good reviews good reviews all right so i guess we'll be using the same dates so let's just check the browser to see what we have Okay, 
so since we have this we want to put each each one by the side of the by the side of each icon okay so this is what we're gonna do um okay so first of all let's just start this uni and give it its color because it's not supposed to be i'm gonna give it the color let me copy this and drop it here yeah we have color that will be uni right since it's a class so that was like a star for multiple tags so i'm going to give it color so color is going to be black and then we have our result black right now i think the other one would be i'm putting this at the top because of a reason um let's do this um let's make this color i think it's ash or something ash no oh, sorry it's supposed to be kind of gray yeah gray sorry it's meant to be great so um so now let's bring these things to the side um let's uh let's look at this first now like i said earlier i said there's a reason why i have this by the top because because if you notice in the in in this let me just show you in here i have two p's right one has a, a class and the other doesn't now if i bring this here now this is it you see the one at the top is the old style if you are styling let's say we have um p tags for example let's say let me let me change this thing let me change this thing to p as well now i'm expecting i'm expecting this i'm expecting this to be gray do you understand but this is black why because this is actually the latest this is the old one okay but this is the latest one now if i bring this down you see that the color will change because i'm replacing or bringing in a new one so what do you see you see gray right so as i said there's a reason why i kept that one behind the other one because i'm having don't worry when we start css you, you understand this better so now we have this right so uh what do i need to style i need to style the d now in this div i'm going to say um i'm going to give it a display i think that's the only thing we need to do and i'm going to say flex so automatically should have something like this okay probably this is not where i'm supposed to put it i'm supposed to put it somewhere where exactly do i need to put it let's check it out so okay the li the li should have it all right so let's get the li let's get the li so in here i'm going to copy this guy and i'm going to put this guy here oh, just paste this guy in there i'll get the li and have the display which is flex and automatically we have this can you see so since we have this i'm going to have to give it um i don't know is it margin no not margin itself probably like a space justify content space between let's see what happens okay um 
okay i think i don't need this then so let's just look for the div itself and give the div a margin left margin left or left select by pixels okay so we have something cool all right now a uh, the next thing is to work on another section which is this part here so we're gonna be doing this real quick and end the session <laughs> uh really really spend uh, a lot of time doing this so now the next thing is um let's get this let's create another section this time around um so in this section section remember i could have used d for all these sections all these all these section nav and all that because div is the is a general tag you can use it to replace any other tag but not like some tags like img ul ul img all those ones are specific and more of those ones more like them are specific all right so now let's just let's just do this guys so um this part now what should we call this uh detail let's let's call it detail let's call it detail remember i told you about sections and that's the reason why i used an id here okay because i know i'm going to be having multiple sections and those sections are, go are going to look different so if, instead of styling section in my ht um, my css file as using the tag name rather um it's best for me to use the ID because if I'm using the tag name section, it's going to apply the same style to every other style, or sorry, to every other or every other tag that is also a section. Okay, so that's the reason why I have a feature here. So I'm going to also give an ID to this to differentiate it from other sections. So in here, I'm going to call it detail, more like a product detail, but I'm just going to call it detail. So this section. Let's go back here and so we have an ID, right? So I'm calling it detail. So in detail, I'm going to give it a width. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry. What does this look like? Okay, probably my need to give it. Um, let's see what feature. hold on so the head has a width of 60 percent so i'm going to apply the same width to this guy here which is going to be 60 percent okay it's not going to be visible yet until i give it like an height okay let's say i'm giving it an height of 50 percent see um okay detail right so working detail and we have detail okay so i'm just going to give it a background color of black since that's the color so okay i need to refresh all right so seems something is wrong somewhere okay i don't have any content inside of it so i think the first thing i need to do is get this p tag how it works okay so i'm using this p tag and i'll have how it works How it works how it works all right so with the question mark how it works so when i do this okay so am i using let me use instead of percentage let me use like three in the pixels i'm going to remove this height later though because i don't think we need it 
once we have our content it fills it up automatically so um, i'm going to give it a margin auto okay where i stay at the middle and also bring it down a bit using margin margin top so margin top should be like a 30 pixel Hmm, let's make it like 40 or 50. Okay, okay, 50 is good. So the next thing now is to give it a border radius. Border radius should be 30 pixels. All right, so I think the color should be white. Right. All right, and also we need a padding of let's say like 20 pixels. Okay, so we're cool, right? So this is really looking nice. This is looking nice. So um, the next thing we need to do is, apart from this guy here, we need a D. We need a D, and inside of this D. We're going to have two other divs. So this div and this div, we're gonna have them. So um I'm going to have this div and also another one. Okay, so for the first div, we're gonna have this image. So I'm going to have a div for that image. There's a reason why I'm using a div for the image, so I'm going to have an image IMG in here so you're gonna look for an image somewhere um then we're gonna have the probably like the p tag p okay and in here unique t-shirt so all i need to do is our unique t shirt right and in here it seems like i have two buttons so all i need to do is have another div to group them together and i have a button here duplicate this then um buy for 59 dollars okay so this goes for buy for 69 dollars buy for Sixty-nine dollars, and this says view all. Right, view all. Okay, so since we have this, remember one is white, the other is green. So I should give this an ID to differentiate it from the first one. Then um, I'll just call it view. Okay. I can also apply this here, but no, I don't want to do that. So that's for the first div. Now for the second div, I think the second div is more like I need a p tag in here. Okay. Then we need an h r. Then under it we have. We have lorem. No, we have no like. Okay, I think I'm going to have another p tag. Or oh, in this instead of because we have a paragraph, let's have a div. And here I'm going to have the first one, which is going to be lorem. More like um, should I make it twenty five? Okay. okay see okay um then for the other one i'm going to have a break even instead of a break even i'm just going to give it part um margin later so um lorem lorem 
also 25. Okay, I'll just differentiate this two. So there's no difference between these two, so I'm just going to, you know, just do it. So we have another, we have buttons, so I'm going to group these two buttons. Um, I'm going to group these two buttons. I'll give them a div button, locate. So what's the first button all about? Subscribe, subscribe $79 per quantity. Okay, so this says subscribe $79. $79 per quantity and the other one says what oh uh, we have more info okay so we have more info we have more info okay let's just do it more info more info more info all right so when we come here we see all of this right now let's just start this guy the first one is what the first one is unique t-shirt design that will be here so we have unique we have unique um t-shirt Design unique t shirt design. So, if you look at this section, this is what it looks like right now. Okay, well, we're gonna make some adjustments to it, so let's do that now. Okay, um, so what now I would like to do. For this P and this guy here, I would like to put them as well in a div. In a div. Um, yeah, in a div. Okay, let me change this guy. Just D V. Okay. So we have this. So um. Okay. View all as for this part. Okay, so in this part, I'm going to need to put this in a single div. Do I need to do that? No, I don't need to do that. Since it's going to be like more like a colon or something. Okay, mm -hmm. should we just make all of this please mm -hmm. where is that sky here mm -hmm. Let's go. okay, one to three is actually cool, yeah, mm -hmm. it's cool, so um. So in here I'm going to have a, an ID for shirt detail. Alright. So that was an ID for shirt detail. Also, I'm going to need to have an ID for this. But instead of an ID, since this is the only apart from this P, we only have one div here so i don't think we need that so i'm just going to go here and add detail and here we have detail and i have an id okay now in this id i'm just going to um i'm going to have a display though which is going to be flex so as you can see, I'm having this right. Okay. 
so um i haven't brought in the image yet so let's check we need to give both the same so so um we have shut detail shut image yeah this should be shut image shut image shut img so i'm going to have shut img here and shut detail here um do i need the same style for both probably the same width here okay i can just use the comma so shut image and shut img so we have this detail we have this div and we have this shut image comma we have another detail we have div i have another sh shut detail here shut detail all right so um i'm going to give it the same width which is going to be 50 percent of this okay okay by this by this okay let's see though okay or maybe i should just do them individually there's a better way to this though but i don't want to confuse you so let's just do it individually um let's give this its own width of 50 percent let's take this guy out okay so let's just follow up take them one after the other it gets complicated when you have too many tags so we have a detail first of all i think we should work on this detailed and p tag right because the p tag is at the top of how it works yeah this is the p tag so let's do the p tag um let's even see how it looks here okay yeah the p tag so we have this div yeah we have the detail and the p tag is just it's just there right so um we're gonna have like imagine imagine of like 10 pixels all right so we're cool with that so i think the next thing to do is to work on these guys here so since we have flex uh we should have justify content should be space between or other space yeah space between would be better okay so we're good right so we have this is this this is for the image this is for the detail right so um i think we should give them a border let's give this guy a border so to see where it's which starts from pixel solid pink so let's see All right so i'm going to remember i said i'm going to remove this guy here when i do automatically this gets you know done it's it's way so um we have that What's the next thing we we don't have the border why for the shots img let's check why we don't have that so we have this d which is shut detail no uh, we have this detail we have this d then we have the shots img right we have this detail this and we have the img make use of orange 
it's the important orange this is cool so why don't we have that let's give this guy a photo first maybe i should remove this guy okay um okay no problem so we just have to continue with this now let's do the first one let's look at the first one so the first one is the is the shit img right so the shit img we need to make it um we have the image we have the this and we have the button so we need to make this just img get out so um i'm going to give you a display of flex and i'm going to say a uh, flex direction should be colon flex direction should be a colon so i have unicolon okay i think i figured it out now so we are not actually getting you um We have this, we have this, this, okay, 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 okay. So I'm just going to call this, um, let's call this, I don't know what we, I don't think we need to call it anything though. We can just, okay, to, okay, let me just reference this one as an ID of IMG. And we can now make use of this guy here. So let me just give it an ID ID of what as well. Um probably my okay, I don't know. Yes, let me make it a class. So now I'll be making this a class too. So class would be what all right. So um yeah, IMG. So let's let's do the first one. Let's do the first one. What image do I have? This and this guys. Okay. So oh it's working now. This is cool. <laughs> so you can see it's working now on outcome. What we did we do to make it work? Um so we have this shirt IMG and we have a bot. Okay, so it seems like we're differentiating it from I'm not using it yet though. So Well, you know what let's take it out first and see let's find out why it's working it wasn't working before let's do these guys to help okay so it's actually working now you know why so um but still i think i'm still going to need of the bots class anyway we have the bot okay so in here now i think i cannot uh give it like a border let's see what happens if i give it a border if it works this time around solid um let's make it like orange yeah we have it now so we have this we also have that one 
So I probably might need to let's see increase the height of this guy. Yeah, I need to increase the height of the detail. So I don't know. Like the height of like 400 pixels. Let's see what happens if we have 400 pixels. Yeah, should make it 500 then. Or more. Okay, I think this is cool. I think this is cool. This is okay. So now, um, we have a margin though. I think we should have a margin bottom as well. Well, that should be like well, 10 pixels is fine. Okay. So now, um, I think we should have, let's get our image now. All right. Um, okay. Now for this image, we have, let's see. I need to get this deep, this deep here. So, um, I think this should be like the height, the height of ninety ninety five percent, or instead of ninety five percent hundred, or also. Also. Okay, what will work? This is make it hundred percent. All right. Oh, I don't want to urge. Um. Okay. I uh, well, since it's going to expand. How let's just leave it there. It will come down. It will come down. So this time around, um, for this shirt, I'm going to copy this guy. Drop him here. I get D. Hmm. I should probably just give it the the ID IMG. So I don't conflict things. So instead of getting the div, let's make use of the IMG ID. IMG. And in here, I'm going to have a margin auto. Okay. Then we're going to have a width of, let's say like 90%. Then the height of, let's say like, The height of um yeah ninety is ninety point okay I think I should give it a width of eighty then then I should be under percent okay okay or better still we should give it I don't know. Let's give it a idle. Let's see. Okay, it's actually a square though, so both should look the same. Alright, so let's make it 80 80. Okay, since so we have the 80, uh, let me get. Do I have a shirt, t shirt here, like an image or something? Do I have anything like that? Okay, I need to download. Alright, um, HD. Oh, let me go in here. Let 
image Pinterest. So I'm going to call this shirt. Okay, should we use which of they should we use? Um and of course this fashion or something. Okay, so um uh, okay, let's use real smiths. I get his image. What did I download it? Okay, it's here. You get in here and um, okay, um, okay. I'm going to rename this to real and I'm going to drag this into media okay all right so we have this guy here this handsome guy and I'm going to bring him into the IMG we have here so I need to locate this IMG folder in here we have real when we use this what do we have all right seems yeah. i am too right okay so we have real smith oh my god this guy is so cute so um Okay, now since we have this, we cannot get the I am the image itself. Now we need to have so IMG will now be the width of hundred percent and height of hundred percent. So we should have this fixed now. All right, this is fixed. This is fixed. But I want to reduce this to something. I don't know why. I think I should make it like a 60% thing. 60%. Okay, smooth. Big, you know. Um, I don't know. Should we use a different image or what? Okay, maybe we should use this one. Let's use this one. Okay, let's see. All right, let's bring this in. Let's right, bring this guy in. Let's do it to a name. Name to shirt. JPEG. So bring in here. All right. So change that to JPEG. Shirt. JPEG. Mm -hmm. All right, I think this is better. Okay. Okay. So um, we have IMG. We have the IMG now. Uh, is this okay, or should we just let's see? 
background of <laughs> actually it's a background of white so why haven't i added the white okay um we have detail and let's just give it a color of background background should be white all right all right so 50 50 i don't want it to be 50 50 anymore i i want this to be 45 percent for short detail and this should be 45 percent so okay um i think we i actually made a mistake somewhere here so i'm supposed to put the white background on each individual div or well, i actually uh put it in the div that combined combined both of them so i'm going to uh, refactor that now so instead of having it in here i'm going to take this out and put it into this here and when we check you see okay so this is cool also i think i should give this like a padding a padding of like let's say 50 pixels is that cool with us all right that's cool so what else do we need the um i honestly don't know why okay so i have this instead of having auto Auto is cool, fine. I think I would need margin top to be like minus, um, say minus 15 pixels for it to go back up a bit. Okay, so instead of 15, let's make it 10 then. Okay, I think 10 is not bad, but. 25 okay i think five is okay so um we have the height i think the height might actually need to be yes this is cool the width too should probably be like um 70 all right and the height should probably be like 75 okay all right um, I hope this isn't too big. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's actually mm -hmm. too big. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's make it. Mm -hmm. Let's make it seventy. Mm -hmm. Seventy sixty. I think seventy sixty is fine. Okay, seventy sixty is fine. Um, this is the five oh, no, no. Let's see. Okay, this is cool. All right, now, um, should I reduce this a bit because of the size of our screen? I won't want to reduce it. You know, it's kind of I think this screen is kind of smaller than what we have. So, um, let's look at the rest of the styling. So for this now, let's do short detail. We'll come back to the image. Let's just make sure everything is, is almost ready. So we have this, okay. So in this, I think we probably need most of this guy here. So I'm going to have to copy you, bring you here. It seems like we are duplicating things, right? Um, perhaps we should. Perhaps we should. Um, let's have this guy here and take this guy away. Then put this guy at the top here. Now we can actually work with how the parent though, but with the parent it makes things easier to understand. So we have these guys here, so you can also refactor this. 
so i'm going to remove this guy we don't want duplicates all right so we have these two things here um all right we're almost done almost done okay so the next thing to do right now is this um let's have i think i should increase this guy here but i do not want to increase this guy okay there's one more thing i i haven't done yet so for oh man i'm so happy i remembered this so object fits should be contained is it contained Correct. That's what I'm talking about. So um, I'm going to make this more like this. Is it this or should we make it like 80? Okay, I think it's making sense now. Yes, it's, it's making sense now. But this probably would need to go beat down. And this, I think we should use the real smiths. No, no worry, let's just use this. So, um, all right, we have this. Okay, yeah. let's see, do we have an eye or something? Yeah. Not the shed detail, yeah. but for the this detail. Okay, I think we should give this the height of photo. Okay, and since we have this, and also I think we should make this position position related, so it doesn't have to go outside. All right, so we have this guys here. Um. All right, so now the next thing to do is let's try increasing for the IMG. Now I think I'm going to make this 80%. I don't know why I'm not getting that feel. Let's do a border and see what's happening. Let's do the border here. Okay. Yeah, so this is it. This is what I, I want you to, you know, spawn around that thing. But it seems you don't want to spawn around it. So maybe I should just change the image to real. Let's change the image to real PNG. This works. Probably at the same. Okay. All right. Um, I probably would just change this box so it was. All right. Um, let's look into this properly. Um, I think. I think. This image, this height here. So, yeah, it looks kind of perfect now, too. But, okay, this is what's gonna happen. It looks good, it looks good, it looks good. So, I'm just going to increase the, the height. Instead of giving this, this guy, I'm just going to make it auto. <laughs> so, it, it automatically adjusts itself. So, okay so now that we have this we can um we can work on mm -hmm. these guys now that's for the p tag right so we have the that's the shot image then the p tag yeah okay okay so we have shots image Okay. 
So the key tag now, what color is it? It's actually black and we need to increase the font size. So the, yeah, color is gonna be black. All right, so let's increase the font size to, font size should be like, um, Pixels, let's see. Pixel is fine, but not enough. Thirty. Okay, thirty is in black. Good. So I'm just going to probably give it a width of five. See forty five percent. No, yeah, hundred percent actually, not forty five percent, hundred percent. So, um, I think maybe we should make it eighty and we should do a margin of auto. All right, so we good, right? Yeah, we good. So what I was looking for. So I think I should just give it like the margin of probably like ten pixels or no, margin top should be like ten pixels. Let's see. Okay, so that's cool. Margin top, margin bottom. Oh, margin top is fine. Yeah. All right, this is cool. Okay, yeah. so the next thing is let's look at those buttons. Yeah. What should we give it like? Give like twenty. Okay, that's cool. Let's take this guy out. Yeah. All right, we good. Yeah. I can as well just give this image. A border, a border, a border radius. Try unless it says cells to make it to make it look cool, right? So I'm just gonna remove it here. Oh, should I? I'll just put it here. Correct. So we have something like this, which is cool. Um. I mean, we've actually spent a lot of time on this, but it's actually good, you know. You spend a lot of time trying to build a simple things like this, but you know, I have to explain how all these things work. If I were to just, you know, code this, I would have been done yeah. since. Okay, so let's just continue and just finish up with this. So now, um, let's look at the buttons. Yeah. Okay. So for the buttons, remember we have something like this called product, and in this we're gonna have the button and the ID. So I think I think I think I should give this an ID of five. Okay, so we have what we have for buy and for view, and for view rather. So um. So I'm going to bring this guy here and I'm going to have this guy here and have what and what should be for its plus box. Okay. So in this bot now um what what exactly do we need? So we have those bots and in this bot I think what exactly do we need? Okay, we need to bring them in. All right. Um, to bring them in, I need to reduce or provide a width. A width of let's like, say like ninety ninety percent. Let's provide a border. Let's 
let's do the quota first. So we know what's happening. Solid block. All right, so let's reduce this width with let's say something like a 90 percent let's make it 80 okay so let's make this margin auto then mm, all right this is cool okay so we have this this is nice all right um let's now style individual button oh my god what did i just do so if you notice i think we have the same thing we should have the same thing for these guys here should we i don't know we'll get that though so um we have this so let's just let's do for the view yeah so for the id by I think the ID by is kind of simpler, so we just need the border and the text. So that's all. And the background should be white. Because currently the background is gray, so the background should be white. So color should be black. Okay, border should be like half half pixels solid. Block radius, water radius should be like it's like if that's pixels. It's working fine. Okay, so we probably might need some padding, like ten pixels. This is great. So let's just take out that border we have at the top there. Don't need you anymore. Bye. So we have this. So let's just give it a background. Background of of white. Yeah. All right. So we have this. And also, I think we need to give it a margin top to be like ten pixels. Okay. Should we should we make it? bi or something i think this is cool yeah this is cool so let's look at the other one now for view instead of buy so i think i'm going to be doing a little bit of copy and pasting for view all right and remember um i want to view all i think Hey, where are you? You fall, okay. I'm going to need a span. Okay, I'm going to need a span. Put you in here. Now, see, I'm still going to need it. another span. To put you, um, put this in here. So I have this, right? Okay, just as we did here. So we're gonna be repeating the same thing. So all I need to do is just go and copy and paste the one at the top. <laughs> okay, oh man, really, really on the road here. So for the for the button, where is the button? Where is the button? So I think we need to copy all of this. I hope that is the case though. Yeah, I think we need to get out of this guy. So we might need to we might need to do some readjustment though. So um so let's see if we have this. So size or oh, the width. And maybe I should just remove these guys and just give it the padding. Padding of what exactly? Ten pixels. I don't know, 10 pixels, um, okay. I don't know why, but I think I don't use that part though, but I don't know why, 
Okay, let's just let's just keep it proper. Return right. I think all we need to do is we need to we need to reduce the font size. I'm not sure if we need to reduce the font size. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, I think I need to bring out the margin a bit. I think the top should be like 10 pixels as the other one. It comes down, okay. So the width should be around 300 pixels. Um, this is cool, yeah. So let's get the grid. Let's get the grid. <laughs> Um, let's see, wait, no. Like the greater sign, styling, something like that. So this is it. So we need to use it at the bottom here. So let's exactly, what name are we given it? Should we call it great as well? I I do. Well, I'm thinking probably I should call it uh, GT. Yeah, let's call it GT. Um, I have few. So let's say I have this video. I would be. I have shirt. IMG. I have dot. Then here I have. Um, I think I have view thing. Okay, yes, I have view. I have an ID for GT. And I can paste these guys here. And we can check our results. Nothing yet. Let's see what I do. So we have this plan. We have an ID for GT. We have a view. Okay. Okay, I think what I'm just gonna do is this. Okay, because in here we have um the view, right? Then we have an ID for this IDGT. Okay, so I think this should work. Oh, I just need to refresh example. So this works. Um this works. So let's let's give them um let's give these buttons. Let's give this by button a, a cursor which is gonna be pointer copy and paste into view as well. Yeah copy and paste into view as well. Oh, also again, pointer. All right. So this means that whenever I over on this, I have this. As you can see, the cursor isn't what it is right now, and when I over, it gives me that link thing. Okay. All right. This is cool. Cool. This is nice. We're going there. We're getting there. So um, let's now look into this shirt detail so the first one is going to be shirt detail d and p which is this unique so let's see what it looks like um all right normal it looks normal kind of so but first of all i think i might need to give it i might need to give this hr an id for an id for d the let me just call it detail yeah d for detail so i i'm going to have i'm going to have it styled here i'm going to have it styled here so um so i think let me get this guy out of that area where it is and bring it down okay here 
and bring it down to here okay so it'll be easier for me to copy and paste so i have short detail i have a div then i have a p right and i also have a d so this is going to be a d okay an idd actually so hold on idd okay so i'm going to call this what am i going to call this um um what exactly do i need here i think i need to give it a width of 90 percent <laughs> so it's up me right now. <laughs> so let's just chill. Okay, I get you now. So initially we need to have the parent. Alright, so from the parent we move to this guy and this guy. So it's up me right now. Size seems to have gotten bigger. Wait, 90? It's just so, like that. Um, what exactly am I styling? Let's check. Okay, so we have the short detail, we have the D. We have the detail, right? Okay, we have the detail, we have this D. Then we have this shot detail, then we have this guys here. We have this D before we get to this guy. So we didn't do that well. So we have this shot detail. Oh sorry, we have this D. Then we have this guy, we have this guy, then it should work now. Alright, I think it's 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 okay now. I I need this guy. Okay. No, let me just give this guy its color. Black. I need it to be detail. And I need it to be deep. Alright, this is black, right? And I think the reason why it's that way is because I need to yeah, I need to do something here. Yeah, let's do something here. So in here I'm going to say display is going to be flex and justify context, no flex direction actually. Direction flex direction is going to be colon. Yeah, correct. So that's what I needed. So let's look. Okay, don't have to go that far. So let's check it out again. So we have this 1990, we'll make it like 100 or what? Let's see what happens. Mm, I think that's too much. Let's make it like that. Okay. This one's looking like a minute two. One, nine, one. Three. You can use three, it's fine. So I think we should position it apps relative, then top, or bottom rather. Bottom should be like. Five pixels. We need to go up. We need to go up. Why are you not moving up? Oh, I'm styling the wrong thing, guys. <laughs> Wait, I'm not styling the wrong thing. I think. Okay. 
probably I should just give it um imagine what's on ten pixels. What's really happening? Yeah, so we have this guy. Okay. I think it's the uh so chicken. So um I don't know, but I don't want to make this. Okay. Um, should I make this position relative? Okay, this is position relative. Then this is going to be position absolute. Position absolute. All right, so that was what I needed though. So now it is what it is. Um, I should give it a margin auto. So it stays at the middle. No way around there. Okay. I'll probably need to like adjust it a bit from here and just go like um so something like that all right we're cool so now let's bring these guys up let's bring these guys up we need to like increase the text here so we have something cool so lorem isn't enough so just have to increase lorem to just have to increase lorem right so here you have Lorem, Lorem to be 40, Lorem to be, Lorem to be 30, it's not enough too, okay, so you make it Lorem 70, All right, so we've done for this. Let's do for the one at the bottom as well. So let's do this. Lorem should do the seventy as well. Let's see. Okay, so cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. So now let's look at the buttons. Okay, let's run the buttons. So in here we have a bot, right? And we have the short detail right so I think we can easily repeat names so instead of having short detail no let me look for bot actually all right let's just look for bot okay we have bot here and on the bottom of this I have short detail short detail all right and we have this bot so i think all i need to just do is duplicate that one i wouldn't I, okay okay um yeah i think it's right i don't know yeah i think we should just make it percent the auto um so it seems like we're dupl duplicating some things here so um or perhaps I should just not have this and just have the dot bot and not just let's see, let's see. I should be able to do this without duplicating anything because the major goal about most of this thing is not duplicating. So let's just take this out and see if it applies to both. So let's see. 
Hmm. Well, how can we know if it does or not? Okay. Um. I don't know. Well. Okay. Let's just say we have this though. We have the pizza. We have the port. We have the buy and the view. Then we have the GT. Okay. We have this, 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 and this for the detail. Okay. Now let's just let's work on on this bot now. So from short detail, we need to go into the bot. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. So from here, I'm just going to have the detail, the div, the shirt detail, and the box. I don't know, is it an ID or is it okay? It's a class actually. It's a class, so yeah, I'm just going to call it dot bot. Alright, so um First of all, I think I should give it a width of it's five percent. Let's see what happens. Okay. Then we need to justify no 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 flex no 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 <laughs> display um to reflex, right? Let's see. Okay. Okay. Um let's see something else. Margin should be auto. Okay. Let's look at the border first. Border should be one pixels. Solid black. To get the width. So oh I think we should make this um Make this hundred percent, hundred percent, probably like ninety nine three or so. Okay, I think ninety three is fine. So, um, I don't know why though, probably I need to change this instead of dots. Let's use an ID because, um. The let's call it the bot, okay. And yeah, let's call it the bot. Let me get on, okay. It's an ID now, so let's change it here to the bot instead of class. So because it's clashing, let's just make it the bot. Okay, all right. So now um, we should make because in here we have two buttons, right? And these buttons are kind of touch. So I'm just going to make the buttons. I'm going to get this everything here. And I'm going to call the button. I'm going to give it a width of also like 200 pixels. Yeah, 200 pixels seems too large. Let's see 150. Let's see 120. Not that bad though. Or probably maybe we make it 100. For I don't know, should we make it work to all right? Let's just look at this. Um, padding should be like 10 pixels. No, 
display this flex. I don't know, we seem not to be getting this thing. Sorry. Cutting. Cutting should be like 10 pixels, right? I don't know why, but okay. Just put it there. What direction should be this? Okay, we'll take out this guy now. Um, we don't need him anymore. Um, let's do the buttons. Adding over sixteen. What are radius? Um, you put a Russian officers. No, 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 officers too much. Pixel solid block. Then we should build spawn. And we have another spawn. It has the greatest sign. So I think we can call this BGT, right? B G T. Well, this is actually not um the right way to do this but i'm just doing it because of the parents and all so let's just continue this way so um all right so i'm just going to get the style for this guy here so i think we should give it a background of white Right, so all we need to do is change this one here. I think the padding also should be like 15 or so. Let's see, my 15 is too large. Six work five low. Making like 12. I think I just increase this to like 30 pixels. Okay, that's cool. So, um, so now let's just start for let's do a start for this guy. What's his name? The DGT. So I'm just going to change this to this DGT and we're going to look for the GT for the other one. Yeah, I'm not supposed to duplicate this though, but we just have to make something work. All right. Okay, so we have this. 
Okay. Uh, probably I need to pick out some things. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So I should give this one fifty then. The size. One eighty. No, no. I don't need this guy anymore. Oh, I actually do though. Okay. Mm. Okay. So it seems like I need to start one of those button which is gonna be this one. So what okay I can give it an ID of more. Okay. ID of more and so button I'll just get this guy here start it up and ID of more. Then in here I can now have the display um flex. Alright. Um yeah, so justify content space around or space between I think space between no space around is better. And align align items is gonna be center. Okay. We have this guy, we have this guy. We probably need to reduce the size of that so like 120 where it came from. Okay, so the background color should be yeah, we need to give it a background color. What do we need to give a background color? We need to give this more a background color. Yeah, background would be this color. So I think we finally got what we need. And yeah, this is it. Maybe we want to bring it down a bit. Um, margin top. It bought the bot button or uh, instead of going in here we actually do have margin here so let's just have margin top here so like 10 pixels come on let's make it like 20 okay um okay let's bring it down a bit 25 Let's go like thirty. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, good. So this is it. <laughs> this is it so far. Um, if you guys are interested in implementing the about, you can you know you can run it. It's kind of simple, just pause your video and you know try it out. So this is where I'm gonna stop. Um and really I I I kind of enjoy building this, showing you guys how these things work.
you know so it's, it's cool you know <laughs> um i think i should just take out that border from that to make it cleaner they might have added it but i think it's it's going to look much more better if i don't have it there so let's see for the button i just i'm just going to take out this border let's just come into how wait yeah i'm just gonna come into how so i think it's basically now study mm, for the button right Let's go check out. Um, let's go check check it out where it is. No reviews. Um, okay, I think this is started right. Started on fourteen. It's actually fourteen though. This is it, right? No. Links. There we have fourteen. I think that's it. So um, <laughs> that was the end of the video, the end of the session. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, just follow up, try to build this, and you know, yeah, I believe you're gonna be able to do this. Yeah, you will be able to do this so just try building yours okay just follow up as i'm doing it you learn faster when you practice don't just watch the video you know just go through it make sure you you as as the video is flowing you're also flowing with it you're typing you're coding and all of that so just you know um yeah so just subscribe and like this um channel to get more content because there's a lot to do there's a lot to do <laughs> all right guys i'll see you guys in the next session yeah thanks